I would like to introduce uh, Lisette Valdez Valle from no, Miami, Florida, daughter of Cuban exiles. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be here, and this kind of represents my journey. Just very unexpected. So one day I am um, in a hospital at Mercy Hospital here with my grandmother, you know, the whole Cuban family, everybody shows up and then you know the people next door, you go get cortadito for everyone. That day we were in the hospital room and the doctor says, yeah, you know, this is really interesting. Um, you see this a lot in Jewish populations. And my grandmother out of the blue goes, bueno, venimos de judío. Like, you know, and then everybody's like the Cuban show. Everybody's crying, you know, the whole thing, you know. And my cousin Mari and I were like, what? What? See, we were right. We knew it all along. We aren't the crazy ones in the family, you know. Uh, well, we are the crazy ones in the family, but that's besides the point. There was always something that was stirring. And it's very beautiful to be here in this setting, to have the Institute, um, to have so many organizations that bring these voices forward so that we don't feel alone. And we just started learning a little bit, a little bit more. I've always been very spiritual. So more than other folks in my family, not necessarily religious, but spiritual. Um, and uh, so I kept on my route, but I was learning. I didn't fit in here, I didn't fit in there. I remember going to a High Holy Day services um, with uh, an ex-boyfriend and his family at Temple Emmanuel, and George Mordechai was the Hazan. I don't know if anyone has heard him. He's of Iraqi heritage. And I was sitting there in the second row, right? I'm like, you know, the shiksa, right? Sitting <laughs> in there, crying my eyes out as this Hazan is just emoting the most amazing sounds and these words that I had no idea what he was saying but I knew what he was saying in my soul <laughs> and um, there was just something about being there but I kind of brushed it off you know maybe I'm just an emotional person right and and I got caught up in the moment but it was something more and I remember that afterwards um, I, I, I was talking to my friend, I go, you know, I really think I want to make this return. I, I remembered before I took that step, the year and a half was not only study, it was also being part of a community, because being part of the Anusim, whether you choose to return spiritually or not, is really being part of a community. So anyway, so the day comes for my mikvah, which actually um, 15 days from now will be six years, the 19th of Elul, 5770, I'll never forget. And I remember going into the water. And uh, we walked in, there was a few of us, and uh, I, I just remember, you know, saying, okay, I gotta remember the prayer, and all that kind of, you know, the to-do. And, and I just remember, we did the, the dunking and the prayer, and after I went down, I, I can't explain. It felt like I was, you know, like those movies where you're like there forever and like you have this. It was probably half a second. But what I felt was honestly, it was like, you know, like when you're trying to put together a Rubik's Cube and it's not, and then it just went. And there was a piece. And it was like everything was made whole. And um, I couldn't explain it. Um, it was the, the most beautiful moment of my life so far. And I came up, and my mom was on the shore, of course, making sure her baby <laughs> was uh, OK. And um, later she told me, she said, that I had never looked more beautiful, that there was a glow that she had never seen before. And I think it just was everything coming together, you know, as it should be. And, um, you know, everyone here has like their genealogy and they can trace back, you know, all these wonderful things. And, and I'm not there yet, I'm trying, you know, still having some resistance. My grandmother, my maternal grandmother didn't really talk too much about her family and my mom was closer to her father's side. Um, 
but I'm working on it and my family descends on my maternal grandmother from the Canary Islands, from Gran Canaria and from Tenerife. And you know, I'm like, well, if I don't have the papers and I don't have this, luckily I met this other dynamo over there, Jeannie Milgram, who just rocked my world when she came to uh, speak at my synagogue and she met my mother. <laughs> and it was just, um, you know, guiding me through this whole Anusim experience. So I did my DNA, because I'm like, is it my grandmother's grandmother's grandmother? Or is there a grandfather? And what if I'm not? What if I'm just crazy? Whatever. Well, um, again, I say I am crazy, but I'm happy to say that I am officially, genetically, Sephardic. Yes! I'm so excited! So thank you so much for listening to me ramble on. and. Um, <laughs>